Two ways of consent for recording a Teams meeting. That is what this video is about. I'm Paul Kuizers and help businesses with Microsoft Teams, SharePoint and Copilot for a living. That's why you can be sure after watching this video, you know everything about consent in Microsoft Teams. So let's jump into it. There's something going to change on the consent uh, side and maybe it's already done at your end. So I'm going to show you the two ways that are available right now. We start off with the basic uh, one and that is uh, that nothing is set up. Uh, and afterwards, we will start with the one about GDPR because in GDPR, you are if you want to be compliant, you need to set this up. So first we go to a normal recording where you give uh, consent. So here you go. Uh, we are in Microsoft Teams. I'm logged in as Paul. Uh, you can tell on this uh, dog icon uh, in the corner. And I'm going to meet now. I'm not going to plan any meeting because I don't need that in this case. So here I click on join and I join the meeting. So now I'm just uh, on my own in this meeting. Now I will invite a uh, live event. Uh, to join this meeting, it's calling on the background. Here you see I can accept it and I will uh, join. Uh, let's see why the camera is a bit off. Let's do this one. join. So now two cameras, as you can see, uh, we are of a live event and we have the uh, Paul Kaisers. So what normally happens if you want to record a meeting, then you start by going to the uh, three dots and you start recording and transcribing, depending on your policy. So this is fine. It's uh, working and uh, I get the message that I need to show, uh, um, let everybody know that they are recording. Uh, recorded. So if I go to live event, I see here that Paul Kaiser started the recording and uh, by being in this meeting, you have given consent uh, to be recorded. If you don't want that, you have to leave the, uh, leave the meeting. You should always tell people that. Uh, in the left hand corner, you see who is recording. So that's also important to know. And the recording is saved to your OneDrive. So that's a one thing. So here we go. We are saving and um, we are happy. If we uh, wouldn't comply, we need to, needed to leave the meeting immediately. But um, doing so, you will would still have been in the meeting for a little while because the recording started. So you, you didn't give consent, but you're still recording. So some companies and to be GDPR compliant, you may not do it this way. So this is a why, uh, and I have to thank Raphael Köhler for this. Uh, he made this uh, real important, but um, within uh, the Teams Admin Center, we have meeting policies and here we have the global one maybe you have multiple policies but if we scroll down we will have recording and transcription and this is turned off by default require participants to agree that they have been recorded if they don't agree the uh, microphone and um, camera will be turned off as uh, well as screen sharing etc so if you turn this on, then you are GDPR compliant, but it's a different way of meeting and a different way to attend. So I've done that on this uh, live event uh, uh, tenant, I added uh, the consent. So to show you how it works. So here we start a meeting again, just like we did uh, last time. And uh, let's... Uh, Put off the mic here. We invite Paul to this meeting, request to join. 
let's go here we see that we are accepted so join so till now uh, as you can see uh, everything looks fine so i don't know why it's still ringing but um till now everything is fine and um we are just in a meeting but now uh the live event decides to uh re start recording so uh they get this recording which is similar then they start and they get this message agreement is needed first we'll turn off everyone's mic camera and content sharing until they agree to be recorded and transcribed so this is different compared to the default one so i say okay continue so the recording starts and you directly see that podcasters is muted and um, the camera is turned off if i go to paul kaisers he doesn't see at the moment that he is uh his camera is turned off and he's uh, muted so we need to be uh, careful about this uh so we need to say this up front so if we did the click on unmute then you get the message about you must agree uh, that you are uh, recorded and i click this one away as well then i get you must agree to be recorded and transcribed to agree the meeting controls at the top uh, of your screen to unmute so here i go when i unmute i will get a pop-up do you agree to be recorded and transcribed uh, turning on the camera you are agreeing to being recorded and transcribed by the way if you like this video subscribe to my channel and like uh, this video and share it with everyone you know and it helps grow the channel here if i click yes i can turn on the camera again and the mic is automatically unmuted as well so this is how the second way works so in conclusion uh, i think it's really important if you want to be compliant to uh, the gdpr then you are going to turn on uh, this uh, setting um, but i know this requires adoption so share this video around in your company to show people what happens and what the other party can uh, expect so that's really important uh, because else uh, you will uh, see that people start calling the help desk or the service desk to ask why their camera is turned off and uh, they don't know because this is just a small message and you need to comply and maybe it looks for some a bit different than for others so i would uh, really recommend uh, to look at that if you, you want to uh, look up more uh, videos of me here's another video uh, you can directly watch and uh, see you next time